Hi friends, welcome back. I look a mess. I've been sick for a few days. Um, but I thought I'd pick up the camera because I'm throwing together weird meals this week and in the coming weeks to get through ingredients that we already have on hand as we switch over to cleaner ingredients. So I thought I'd show you the different meals I'm making with the stuff we have on hand. So today is Sunday. I was sick the past few days and basically slept like 15 to 20 hours a day and watched Netflix. If it's loud in here, it's because the microwave's going and I'm sauteing some onions and sausage. Uh, as we're switching over to cleaner eating, Alice is really missing her beefaroni. So I'm just making like a really cheap and easy homemade version. We have some of these ready pastas. <laughs> they're not the best, but they're okay. We have some of these ready pastas that I had gotten with Ibotta. So I'm gonna do two packages of the rotini. And then, hey babe, can you just tear this corner open for me? I only have one hand. Um, I did a pound of burger. I threw in two small sweet onions with garlic, salt, and pepper and sauteed those. I put half of that mixture in with the ground beef. So I'm doing two different meals right now. It's just use up ingredients, it's a pantry challenge sort of thing. So now that I've confused you all, let me just show you what's going on. So I sauteed two onions with garlic, salt, and pepper, like I said. And then I took half of the onion mixture and put it in with some ground beef. And I'm gonna season that a little bit and then add some pasta sauce. I also had one of these, what brand is it? Hillshire Farms Turkey Smoked Sausage. And I'm gonna add a little bit of barbecue sauce in here and then kind of saute it with the barbecue sauce. Um, so we'll have this for whoever wants it and we will have some um, knockoff beefaroni uh, goulash sort of thing. All right, so I took the pasta, two of the rotini ready pastas, put them in a bowl, added a little bit of Kerrygold butter and Parmesan cheese, and then I took the, the meat and sauce mixture onions, all that, and combined it. So we kind of have like a, I wouldn't call it beef runny, it's more of like a goulash, but my daughter will enjoy it just like that. We've got the barbecued sausage over here with the onions and garlic. Um, I just added a little bit of a honey barbecue sauce. I need to get a better one. Um, what's the brand? There's a brand I like, G Hughes. I need to get some of that because it's lower sugar. Um, what else did I put in here? Oh, a splash of Worcestershire or Shosh. And then I was like, we need a vegetable. So we had a family size can of green beans. I put butter, salt, pepper, and garlic in there. Usually I put bacon bits, but our bacon bits were expired and I didn't want to risk it. So we've got a veggie and some meat and some pasta and it's a weird concoction of a meal, but that's, we're gonna roll with it. Here's Jackson's plate. He's got some sausage, green beans, and olives because I remembered I had olives in the fridge. Go ahead and take that, mm. sir. And yes, I still use divided plates even though they're eight and 10 years old because it keeps the food separated and they like that. Um, Alice has, do, 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 we're gonna walk over here. Um, she wanted, I, I forgot that the beefaroni stuff will probably stain these plates because they're like that plasticky stuff. So this would have gone in her big part. And then we have cottage cheese and green beans for her. Here's Will's plate. It ain't pretty, but we cover a lot of food groups, right? And we're using food we have on hand so we didn't have to really grocery shop and he doesn't like cottage cheese or olives, so he's not getting either of those. And my plate's gonna have just a little bit of everything, including cottage cheese. All right, friends, another night of pantry cooking. Um, I've got these um, Amy Lou uh, brand meat products in the fridge from my last Costco trip. So I cooked up two of the apple and gouda sausages for the kids, so they each have a sausage, some mandarin oranges, Jackson has olives, Alice has cottage cheese, and then there are just a few of these um, non-bread dippers to go along with it. So that's what they're gonna have. I'm gonna make up one of the packages of these meatballs with nice some barbecue sauce, sauce, hold on, with some barbecue sauce and raspberry jam, um, and just kind of warm them up and put the sauce on. Yes, dear. Can I have something to um, dip my pita bread in? Like what? We have no hummus. So there's really nothing to dip it in. Huh? Huh? Guacamole? Huh? That'll work. Yeah. There's avocado. They also have they seen our tree. No, they haven't seen our tree. We set up our tree. This is not a vlog. It's just the dinner video. It's not going to want to focus on those lights. 
So I just put in a few tablespoons of the Smucker's Natural Raspberry Jam, some of the Jihu sugar-free barbecue sauce. Um, you can kind of see it. And I'm just gonna, once it comes, like, heats up, I'm just gonna stir it in until the sauce kind of um, melts together because the jelly, obviously, is a little bit separate. And then, I don't know how I'm serving with it. I will figure that out. All right, so I ended up doing a bag of the Seeds of Change wild rice and quinoa, like microwave steamable bags, as well as a steamable bag of veggies um, with some butter and garlic on it. I added a little splash of soy sauce to the quinoa and rice, and then our meatballs. So there's still a little bit of the veggies left, um, and then we'll probably eat some more of these meatballs as well. That was only half of the package. There's two pouches in the meatballs, so that was one of the pouches, but that is what we're having tonight. All right, friends, tonight is going to be a quick meal. I have to head out the door in about 25 minutes for small group. So I'm just doing these bird's eye voilas. I have a chicken garlic and a three cheese chicken, and I am just combining them to make one big chicken cheesy garlic pasta thing for the family to eat. Um, I will just eat when I get home probably. So real quick and easy. They were in the freezer. They've been in there for a few months. So I was like, we can just easily get rid of those. All right, here's the kids' plates. Yes, I still like using these divided plates. I think I've mentioned before. Just keeps their food separated. Um, so Alice has cottage cheese. Jackson has olives. They both have apples. And then the chicken voila mixture, which turned out cheesy and garlicky and delicious. Will and I will just eat probably this without sides. I might have some cottage cheese. Um, but this way the kids have a well-rounded somewhat dinner. We'll see you on the next one. All right, friends, tonight's dinner... Um, everything we had on hand, of course. So it was a bag of three cheese tortellini from Walmart. So that's what the kids and Will are having. I made up a meat sauce with two pounds of meat, a jar of um, Newman's own Saccharini um, pasta sauce, some one diced onion. So that's what's in here. So there's gonna be extra sauce because this is the entire bag of pasta. And then I had a bag of Bosco sticks in the freezer. So I just microwaved those. So it's kind of just a pasta night. I myself, Microwave is going, as you can hear. I am going to have butternut squash or spaghetti squash noodles with two breadsticks and pasta sauce. So that'll be tonight's dinner for you. All right, so here's my bowl of spaghetti squash with sauce and basco sticks, and that'll be the last meal for this week, or for this video rather, because this was kind of filmed over the course of a week and a half. But drop a comment, share some love, let us know if you like this type of video, and until next time, we will see you later. Bye.